When I decided to start Women Wednesday, the goal was to spotlight women in sports, specifically at Arkansas. Despite the growing attention to female sports, it's an area that doesn't get the attention it deserves. I wanted my first episode to be with an athlete Arkansas fans know immediately, one with a great story. Malika Monk fits the bill. Her four years at Arkansas has recently come to a close, but it ended with a run women's basketball hasn't seen at Arkansas in years. She's endured a lot of change over her career also, ups, downs, and controversies. But in a society where we see transfers abound in college athletics, she stayed steady. This is my conversation with Arkansas point guard Malika Monk. Mal, you finished up a four-year career at Arkansas. Have you taken some time to reflect a little bit? Yeah, I have actually after the game. Um, the next following morning, I really just sat up in my bed and was like, wow, like these four years actually flew by and it's amazing how much I've grown um, starting freshman year and ending it now. So. I um, actually saw myself grow from a little caterpillar to a butterfly, so it's <laughs> pretty amazing. There's a lot of emotion after that TCU game, and you were giving hugs and thanking some of the crowd, had tears in your eyes. What was that moment like? Uh, it just really hit me. Like That was really my last home game, playing in front of my uh, family, friends, and the fans here. And um, it really you know, touched me a lot because... It's my last time, mm -hmm. so just being there and actually giving my all for everyone that was there watching us, uh, it was pretty much emotional for me and um, more so, you know, for my mom because that's pretty, probably be the last time she's seen me play here in mm -hmm. Arkansas ever, so it's pretty emotional for me. How would you describe who you were and the player you were that freshman year to the player you were when you walked off the court at TC against TCU? Uh, freshman year, uh, it was really like a year of growing up, um, mm -hmm. have to mature and have to take a different style of coaching than you were taking when you were in high school because you know everybody comes in from high school you were that player and now you're on a team full of a lot of those of that players that uh, came from their high school so you really have to sit back and you have to watch and you know everybody wants to play everybody wants those minutes but you know your time is going to come no matter what so you know it times may get tough because you do want to play but it's all you know, part mm -hmm. of the process, so you really have to wait your turn, and that's what I did, just learning from those in, uh, in front of me. Your freshman and sophomore year, you played under Jimmy Dykes, and then Mike Neighbors came in your junior, senior year, and there was some adversity through a lot of that. How did that affect you? How did it affect the program? Uh, we just really had to, uh, I guess, you know, you had to turn it around a little bit because we had a lot of people leaving out and, you know, that really just left us with, you know, with whoever else is here. So um, it was kind of a tough one, but, it, you know, also a learning process mm -hmm. for us because then we have to, you know, adapt to a whole new coaching staff and uh, whoever else we had left. But it also, you know, put us on the uprise because we were a lot more comfortable um, because of the coaches was getting to know us and we were getting to know them. So it's kind of like a new process. It almost felt like freshman year all over again. You know, what was it like for you to see so many of your teammates transfer and go somewhere else? I mean, you had Jordan Danbury, who was now at Mississippi State, and Aaliyah Wilson went to Texas A&M, and you stayed. What was it like seeing all these people come and go? It was pretty tough because I feel like we would have done a lot of damage if they would have stayed, but... Um, just for me staying, um, I feel like that was the most important mm -hmm. key to show my commitment to my home state, just staying here and playing um, because um, I feel like that's the most important thing that I could possibly do is actually put Arkansas back on the map and really, you know, set the bar for those who, you know, wants to play college ball or who are from um, Arkansas that they should, you know, stay here mm -hmm. and continue the legacy that uh, mm -hmm. we are continuing to build finish what you started was there ever a thought at all to to go in somewhere else honestly no the, the process of you know getting recruited <laughs> and going through that whole process I never would have thought of leaving um, I was just gonna stick it out to the end and that's exactly what I did you're gonna reap the benefits of this program as you lay the groundwork for the future and Mike neighbors has said you and Raven and the seniors on this team win this team wins a national title. You all will get rings because you're a part of this family and the foundation that helped build it. When he says stuff like that, how does that make you feel? It makes you feel very impactful. Um, it really, you know, shows a lot of gratitude for not just 
our group of seniors, but a uh, previous senior like Devin Cosper because she was here throughout the process of him coming in and stuff. So it just really, you know, let us know that um, we are important mm -hmm. and uh, we are part of the uh, legacy and the growth of the uprise of Arkansas women's basketball. How excited are you to see the future of what this program has to offer? I am very excited because, you know, we're starting up, we, we started something very special right about now and just to see uh, how, you know, close towards the end of the season, how far we have, we have gone up and I'm just really, you know, pretty amazed to see what next year has to hold and years after that. Is, is women's basketball back at Arkansas? Is it? Do I really, <laughs> do you really have to ask that? <laughs> Yes, it is. Of course. Um, is it going to be hard for you to watch from the stands? <sighs> sort of, kind of. Yeah. But I'll get over it. No regrets or any regrets from the last four years? None. None mm -hmm. at all. And the future for Malika Monk, what does that look like? I feel like it's pretty bright, so um, we're just going to have to see. All right. Malika Monk, women's basketball, and the first guest on Women's Wednesday. Thanks for being in my first episode. You're welcome. Thank you. We wish you all the best in the future. Thank you.